Huh. Refined. Calm. Um, so as you can see, this game is called, uh, Freud's Bones. And right off the bat, this is a weird sensitivity on the mouse. Um... Oh, there we go. Press escape. Wait, is this in Italian? Nova? I'm guessing that means new... Game, or whatever this means. Continue game, probably. Options. And... Exit. Can we change this to English? Uh, uh, ah, ah, yes. <laughs> okay. Volume, music volume, it's pretty good, full screen, okay, that great. Like the, look at this smoke animation, this beautiful. Uh, did I get it? New game, load game, okay, close. Quick game. Uh, Alright. Jesus, it's a lot of text. Uh, okay, locked up in his tiny and dusty studio, the Jewish doctor Sigmund Freud welcomes tons of women to subject them to his barbarian method of intra-psychic investigation. He, uh, he's pompous, perverted, malicious. There's a movie about Freud I should watch. Uh, making fun of the best Wayne's high society with inexplicable and demonic theories, secret dreams, hypnosis, incest, and uncivilized desires that are the main point of his expensive chats. At number 19, Barba something street, the College of Psychiatrists, Psychi Psychiatrists, that's what that would be, uh, want him to be struck off, confined in his place. But his reputation grows significantly. Who knows if we'll hear about this cocaine addicted Jew any longer. So this is Sprite Jade Krober Carl Young. That's a name I know. Um, the first time we spoke continuously for 12 hours, I was inebriated by his endless energy, by his brilliant and frenzied mind. Our ways have suddenly parted in that moment when I understood that his obsession for sexuality was bogus and inapplicable. I don't believe that the root of every pain and mental stress is associated to is associable to sexual trauma. I think Freud is going through crisis. And without a loyal friend, he will end up swallowed by his ghosts. I kind of I heard that he. Hey, don't excuse me. Why am I back here? How do I get through this? Nothing more intriguing than what this news. Um, I've always had a deep fascination for the outcasts of society. Outcasts of society. They are mirrors that show us our deformations. I think you should know him. Who knows? Maybe uh, fraternizing will pervert perverted. Oh, Jesus. Maybe fraternizing fraternizing with a perverted genius will surprise you. Pretty sure I've uh, mild dyslexia. Um, in a real dark night of the soul, it is always three o'clock in the morning, day after day. I don't know what that means. A real dark night of the soul, it's always three o'clock. What happens at three o'clock? Cocaine? Is that cocaine time? I don't know. Uh, whoever said that was extremely right. A bedlam of voices dwells in my mind. How did I come to this point? Cocaine. Uh, well. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. I like that- oh fuck, I didn't read that. I like that carpet, and he's got the blinky light in the background. Nice cigars. Living the life. I'm dying of my own venom. That's perception. To protect my theory, my intuitions, I had to make an act of faith. Uh, okay. I had to trust my instinct. Escape from my society. Escape from the curious skeptics and friends. That sounds relatable. To find myself still nailed night after night to my to the cross of my solitude. Uh, what once looked like a safe place now seems a gilded cage. At least it's gilded though, right? I don't find any relief. Wouldn't that be relief? In wine and in other people's company. Uh, even sex lately doesn't give me any satisfaction. Poor man. Uh, question mark. Hmm. Maybe, <laughs> see, I told you. Or wait, no, I told him that's the other way. Maybe cocaine caused a severe depression. Bong, whatever that is. Ack. I am I still burning in my insomnia while time passes. That must be midnight then. Where is that mandrake infusion? 
I have to calm down and rest if I don't want to look like a drug addict tomorrow. A dark monologue, right? I told you that our dear- wait, so is this not Dr- or wait, no, this is the narrator. Okay. Difference between narrator and speech. I told you that our dear Dr. Freud is gripped by a deep crisis. At least once in a lifetime, I think you felt lost in a labyrinth without a map, too. Uh, now it's your time. I'm gonna introduce myself? Oh gosh. Help him finding a light and changing radically his view on the human mind. Discover the roots of Dr. Freud's crisis. Terrific. Break into Freud's mind. With a hammer? How do I, what do I do from here? Oh, wait, okay, break into his mind. No, Buddha statue. Note on the wall, break into his mind. Oh, fuck. I clicked too fast. I missed some shit. The cigar should go good with some aged whiskey, of course. God, sweet. Who spoke? The voices in your head, do my dude? You're going nuts. Oh no, an auditory hallucination, see? It's the last thing I need. Come on, Sigmund, to be rational. Take a breath. You must be just one just one more side effect of cocaine. Just practice gradual abstinence. Smoke m oh, smoke more cigars. Allow yourself a bit of fun of loss of control or you'll become neuras neurasthetic? Neurasthenic. I don't know what that means. Good. It's been short. It went away fast. Terrific. Goodbye. I'd better find that goddamn mandrake and go back to bed. What is a mandrake? I thought that was something from Harry Potter. Um, or maybe your inner, inner demon decided to shake you off. Maybe it's neither insomnia nor cocaine, the cause of the voice. Oh my god, he's staring at me intensely. Um, maybe your inner demon. I don't know what this means. I feel like this is maybe a, a rough translation. Maybe it's neither insomnia nor cocaine. As of, I'm feeling like this is to, to look for some other answer, and this one is to... You uh, decided to shake you off. What the hell does shake you off mean? Knock him out? Um, I feel like I should go with this one. Maybe it's neither the insomnia nor the cocaine. It's the cause of this deeper voice. Huh? They are absolute... They are the only possible logical solution. I am a man of science. Uh, come on, Sigmund. It's just a nervous breakdown. You can get away with this should question me instead of shut me up. Um, I'm gonna see if, assume that, I don't know what that means. We should talk to you instead of, or no, you should, you should listen to me, maybe. Instead of telling me, instead of shutting me up. I think that's what it means. You're trying to handle the situation with arrogance. It's not necessary, I'm here to help you. I feel like these mean the same things, but let's go with the more, with the longer answer to get a fuller explanation. I don't need any more masters in my mind. The unconscious and the superego are sufficient. Okay, okay, I'm not getting anywhere. Hmm, he always acts like this while under pressure. So he's got some pressure. This is Dr. Sigmund Freud and all his cynicism. After all, he knows very well who you are. What? Uh, who better than the creator of psychoanalysis could explain the task of an inner voice? The time has come. It's up to you whether to be his demon or his angel. And it'll, it'll both. Uh, Sigmund Freud, I can be. Well, oh, fuck. I'll be good for now, I guess. Let's be a garden, guardian angel. Not Zooks. Oh, please. Or, oh, please. I don't know which one that is. I'm a f philosopher, a crazy man, a pioneer. But uh, for sure, I'm not believing to an asexual being wearing... What does he mean here? I'm not believing to asexual beings wearing diapers. Uh, I mean, I'm assuming he's taught about an asexual baby, but what? What? Okay. I don't need angels or harp sounds to give the human emptiness a meaning. Pigman, under my control, you'll be free from your sorrows. Pigman, well, let me take the weight of your consciousness upon my shoulders. I feel like these are saying the same things, just in different ways. Maybe he'll respond more to being free from his sorrows. Freedom cannot be- well, uh, this is- I should have been the devil. Freedom can't be imposed. Disappear. Go away. Oh wait, I missed some text. I'm the captain of my soul. Only facing arrogance, you, mu you must answer kindly and cleverly. Well, I'm trying. Stand, put your hands behind your back. Leap. 
Well, which one is kind? You're touching his chin is kind. You did it. Well, there you go, Sigmund. You're, you're getting the hang of this already. May you be cursed. It's very angry about this, though. It's not real. I can and can't control my movements. Dr. Freud is predictably, predictably reluctant to your presence. Now it's time for you to take control. From now on, you can manage his movements and taking decisions about his life. You should know that you don't have to stand against your inner voices. I want you to... I wouldn't want to take your soul, but I'm forced to do it. When I say you don't have to stand up, you're deliciously fussy. Well, at least I'm delicious. Uh, oh, question mark. You're stubborn. He's projecting, isn't he? You should be part of my unconscious. There's a reason I don't know if you're here. That reason, okay. I let you take control, but remember, I am Sigmund Freud. Explore Dr. Freud's office, looking for clues that can reveal the cause of this crisis. Okay, left click on the items. Uh, well, this is. Oh, it's Marvel. Um. Yeah, let's walk over here. The marble is cracked, I mean, that's why. You're out of uh, The Woman Who Walks. I bought this in a, at the Vatican's Museum. Symbol of the delirium in the Mayotics? May, 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 may I don't know. Uh, an armchair, that's probably not the case. A telephone, a desk, a, a medical record. Oh, yes. So juicy medical details could there be the reason. Oh, it's patients. No, you're definitely not ready. Um. Egyptian statue, it's a cigar. Uh, well, none of that's clickable. Radio. Bookcase. Uh, what else can I. Bookcase. Let's see if they put a message. This message, maybe. It's... Nothing is more visible than things hidden. Okay. That doesn't help me. Bookcase. Is there anything I'm missing? Maybe it's the radio. Without music. Life would be a mistake. What regret never knowing. What regret never knowing you, Friedrich Nietzsche. I, uh, bookcase. My god. All right, good. Choice. This is not just a bookcase to me. Literature is the most powerful venom for a restless mind. Contains secret poisons, bombs. Every time you need to, to find an answer, check it. It will know how to help you. Okay, well, I need an answer now. Do I want to read? Yes, because maybe they'll find me an answer. Kotayevsky, Memories from Underground, Oscar Wilde, Mixture of Turian Gray, Shakespeare the Storm. Well, start from the top, I don't know what it is. One circumstance tormented me then, namely, that no one else was like me. I am alone, and they are everyone. I thought, and I kept on being engrossed. Deeply dots. I must admit, sometimes I speak to the past genius ghost to escape this world. I didn't think you feel so lonely. Arrogance will kill you. I didn't think you feel so lonely. I desire the closeness of men, but when I get it, my thoughts are broken. I feel hurt by their banality. Godzooks. Uh, but... What would you want to know about that? I don't know. Uh, okay, let's look at the statue of Buddha. My atheism is not denied by this object. Well, of course not. Uh, I bought it during a trip to America. Looking at it makes me feel peaceful. Uh, statue of Socrates. Socrates. Face and his features of my snarky satire always inspire me. You know his most famous and misunderstood Exhortation. I don't. Know yourself. Take a chance. Know yourself, exactly. Chance one. God six. I don't know what else to say. It was engraved in, in Apollo's temple. It was an inevitable to get inside the human soul. But he knew very well that the one who commits really hard will light up a flame in the boundless dark. Uh, light bulb. No, bookcase. What's in this bookcase? Got three bookcases. You wanna read? I can click on this. Oh. Um, let's Oscar Wilde. Every suppressed impulse poisons our soul. I don't know if I agree with that, but that's for another talk. 
And that's when demons like me show up at your doorstep. The soul is cured by yielding to sin. I uh, zombies at the doorstep. Um, God, Zook. Uh, MPF. What does that mean? Your annoyance won't get you very far, old lady. I'm a lady? And I'm old? Go to the armchair. This arm, if this armchair could speak, it would reveal all the signs and pains of my patience. I'm assuming that in that patience mean like people, not his patient. It may be famous, but to me it has an enormous sentimental value. It is a present from Mrs. Ben Menisti, an old patient of mine. I covered it with this Persian rug to make it softer, and I realized that my patients took benefits from laying down. The trance status lasts a long time, and they're less reluctant to let my to let thoughts slip out of their lips. Terrific. Uh, telephone. Through my telephone, you can call Mina, Mina, my sister-in-law and secretary. Never mix your job and fa well, you just have done it. Ah, I missed something there. God damn it. Can I go out the door? No. Can I... Tobacco. Here we have uh, tobacco cigar. Reina Cubana cigar. For it is a hardened smoker. Probably gave him a nice grizzly voice though. Uh, smoking seems to help overcome stress and promote concentration. Actually, it's when he seems... It's what he seems to like most in life. The stress bar has also increased and decreased in relation to the type of cigar you smoke and the frequency. Did you do it? I don't know a lot about cigars. Can you go for the smoke? Oh, Reina Cubana. Exotic taste, strong spirit. Ideal for my dreamlike journeys. Delicious. Just like my... What, had, what did he say was delicious about me? I forget. Um, Egyptian statuettes. Let's take a look at these now. The Egyptians. What an exceptional people. Right now I would, I would resume their custom of gouging brains out of the noses of the dead. Why would you do that? Just to make... Oh, well, alright. Just to make you disappear. I think you'll end up worshipping me as an Egyptian cat. I think you're undervaluing me. Let's be... Snide, is that the... I think you'll end up worshipping me. Worship does not exist in my vocabulary. Well, then I'll make it exist. Yes. My desk, desk is strictly chaotic. I assume you want to poke around in the drawers. So I'll get ahead of you. Train ticket to Berlin. My dear friend Lou Salome invited me to the presentation of her last work. Okay, well, old pipe. It's incredible how smells can survive through times. A hint of a smell is enough to drag your mind and memory mazes. I find it meaningful that we can't willingly reproduce a smell. Huh, I mean. I don't know, we can't willingly reproduce a sound or a taste either, unless you mean like, we can only, well, whatever. If we could, we'll spend days in bed remembering the scent of a distant love, or our childhood's bed sheets. Okay, it's gone in the desk. Broken glass. To say that when a mirror gets you broken, it's, it's bad omen because that you see your broken reflection. A broken ego is a bad omen, do you understand? This one was broken by a patient during a rage attack. That's very... A wrinkled letter. All lone wolves have the same destiny. All wolf packs are consumed by the desire of a hungry solitary's elusiveness. But every pack, hungry and wrathful, does not find peace until... The lone wolf is devoured. Huh. I spent two nights questioning from where this message came from. I decided to wait for another one before answering. Well, well, another worry for Dr. Freud. Do you want to speak loudly to confess your doubts? I'll say that. Do you want to speak loudly to confess your doubts? Huh. It seems like a riddle, but I can't find any interpretation. 
I'm not thinking clearly enough to solve this dilemma. Now I need some sleep, but I can't go back to my bedroom. I should awake Martha. I'll sleep on the couch, if you'll let me. And we'll see. Go towards the couch and let Freud rest. Oh, there you go. And uh, do you want to sleep? Yes. Oh, God. Crazy alarm sounds. Oh, there's more stuff. Do I can now click on a notebook and a letter and all this stuff and uh, but I feel like this is a good place to end for now. This is interesting. I did. freud has got a pretty crazy mind. A lot of stuff going on in there, and he's pretty stubborn as to. I mean, that's kind of the interesting thing is that he's like the father of what psychoanalysis, and and yet he's not willing to listen to any sort of analysis on his own or any sort of reason about his own mind. Is that what's going on here? Uh, but this is, this is pretty neat. I wonder how, I mean, like I was saying, I don't, oh, this fire went out. Well, that makes sense. It's the daytime. Um, but like I said, I don't really know. I just know the bare minimum about Freud. So I can't tell you how much, how accurate this is, but it would be interesting to find out. Well, anyways, if you like this video and you want to help me bring more videos like this video to more people, you need to give a like and or subscribe. Um, thank you very much. I hope you have a good one.